Most of the inquiries that we get on the Facebook page or on our online chat is around getting an irrigation quote done and what the process is for that. So we'll go outside and we'll do a bucket test. For us to be able to do a, an irrigation design and quote, we need to know the flow, the location of the water, the location of the controller, and then a scaled diagram of the area. It's pretty simple. So what we'll do first is we'll test for the flow. So this is the tap that we've got out the front of the shop. Obviously, uh, you're gonna be testing the water closest to the area that you're gonna be irrigating. So we need to know the water flow in liters per minute. So this is a five liter bucket. You may have a, a nine liter bucket at home or a 20 liter bucket. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as you know how many liters it is. You wanna turn the water source on all the way, shove the bucket underneath and then time it. You don't need to use a phone for this. You could use a, an analog watch. Just a device that measures time. What we're gonna do is get the tap all the way open, then shove the bucket under there and time how long it takes to fill up. Being this is only a five litre bucket, we're gonna get some spillover. Um, it's not really a big deal. We just need it to be close to accurate. So it's really important to make sure that you remove anything that's on the tap. So don't measure your water flow through a garden hose or um, through a set of snap-on fittings. Turn the tap right on. So I'm happy that, that that was at seven seconds. Seven, five liters in seven seconds. So then we calculate that out into liters per minute. If you're not sure how to do that, that's fine. We don't need you to actually supply us with the liters per minute. You just need to be able to supply us with the size of the device that you were using to fill up and then how long it takes. So now we'll go inside and I'll do an example of how to draw up a diagram. Making sure you uh, try not to waste any water. I've tipped that on our lawn. So we've got the water source. Now we'll just do a scale diagram. So I'm just gonna do an imaginary lawn um, and garden area so that you get an idea of what we're doing. Something that the guys will always tell our clients is that the quality of the irrigation design is gonna be in line with the quality of the scale diagram that you supply. So the better the diagram is, the better the our design's gonna be. So I'll be drawing this at one to 100. So one centimeter is one meter. So we'll go 10 meters by 12 meters, just to make it a bit interesting. We'll do a little four meter kicker there. So this could, this is kind of a good example of a lawn that um, wraps around like an outdoor entertaining area or a pergola. Most of these properties will have a one meter garden bed or a one and a half meter garden bed around the lawn area. So we'll say it's got a meter garden bed down there and there. So, and then the garden tap, so they might have a tap on the outside of their house here, which is where they got the five liters per seven seconds. Then they'll say, oh, there's paving there, or we need to know if there's paving, if there's concrete, if you've got existing conduits underground, the level changes if that lawn's elevated. And that's pretty much it. So if we can get a design supplied with the water location, the water flow, uh, the controller location. They might want to have the controller there and then they'll run cable around to the tap or they'll run water around to the controller. It just depends on how people want to do it. What we're looking for is a water flow, a controller location, a water location, a scale diagram of the area that you want irrigated and how you want it irrigated. So if you want to use subsurface drip tube for the lawn or sprinklers for the lawn, if you want to use individual drippers for the garden bed or if you want to use drip tube for the garden bed. So Water Pro supply uh, irrigation designs free of charge and then if you buy the materials from us then we'll supply you with the design. So we'll design and quote it and that's a no obligation service. If you choose to go ahead with us, then you'll get the design yeah. and then we're here to support you all the way as well. So any questions that they've got around uh, installation, um, I guess nozzle adjustment, anything like that, that's pretty much it.